Hello everyone, I am here with philanthropist, activist, and of course poker player, Lena Evans. Now Lena, you've been a huge advocate for women in poker. Tell me a little bit about Poker League of Nations and how that got started and what it is. Well, Poker League of Nations started in 2017, and it was really a small group of ladies who travel for poker internationally. And then we decided, you know, we really need to bring in more ladies and help them find out about events, give them information. And so we opened it up to basically the general public. We, we still approve members, but so we grew within like six months, we grew to over 1,800 members. And so we're the largest forum for women's poker. That's so great. Now, what do you think holds women back from playing poker or sort of getting involved in the poker world? I think it's a little daunting because women think maybe that's too expensive to play. So, I mean, bankroll does play a little part in it. But regardless, there's lots of events where you can buy in for less. And so we're really trying to encourage women to play. And so the idea of PLAN is to a forum where ladies can share information, learn about poker events, and really you know, feel more comfortable about the community. Because we're not only trying to get w women to play poker, we want to eventually bring them into open fields. And that's the key. Because we can't grow fields unless we bring more women in. And we, and we can't grow prize pools unless we bring more women in. So we're only like 4% of the fields now. And if we could even grow that to 10%, can you imagine how much larger the fields will be and how much bigger the prize pools will be? Well, speaking of which, you are planning a bunch of tournaments for women this summer in Las Vegas. Tell me a little bit about that and then also about the satellites to the World Series. The big events are uh, here at South Point and uh, those are June 26th and 27th. We have the Plon Summer Summit. So that's where we bring ladies from all over the world in. And it's really, you know, a social forum, but we have Jamie Kerstetter who's teaching on the 26th. And then we have a, a number of social events planned. And then we have a 20,000 guarantee diamond bracelet event on the 27th. But you mentioned the main event satellite. So we're really creating the opportunity of a lifetime for probably two women. Right now we have one confirmed and we're working on the second, uh, second main event opportunity. But uh, we're going to send two ladies in for $300 and they will get a main event seat and they'll have the community behind them and supporting them and really that's the key, really building community and making these ladies feel like, okay, I can do this too. And you know, bankroll is a consideration, so for you to buy in for less than 300 and get the $10,000 main event seat, that's just, I mean, I hope I win. But. It's also, you know, you're throwing a satellite for women, so there is a guarantee. Of course, men are welcome to join. The buy-in is a little higher. <laughs> but then, you're, you know, you're sort of guaranteeing that there are more women playing in the main event. And I think every year, Poker News does a special sort of our predictions of the WSOP. And every year we say, you know, a woman will final table the main event. A woman will final table the main event. Still, it doesn't happen. And, you know, we, you know, Lonnie Hart wins a bracelet. There are women who win bracelets every summer, but it's still, the numbers are still disappointing. Yes, well, and that's really the impetus behind PLAN is that we really want to encourage ladies to join us. The idea is for them to feel really comfortable and move into to open events. That's really the main goal, not just, oh, let's have women's events, but to, to move them into open events. And tell me a little bit about the uh, players party you're throwing. Oh, goodness. So we have a welcome cocktail party for Ladies Week at WSOP. We did it last year, too, and it was a huge hit. So Max Pond, the world-famous Max Pond, is our sponsor of the Diamond Bracelet. So it's like a $5,000 Diamond Bracelet for our main event here. So they are hosting our welcome cocktail party, and it's no cost to attend, but you have to register, and every lady gets $100 for shopping. And it's just fun to shop and Drink Meet and new women. eat yeah. and yeah. I love <laughs> drinking and shopping. Sometimes they do it alone at home on Amazon. Exactly. <laughs> so you mentioned you have many ambassadors in PLON. Who are some of the names you would recognize, these women that are big in the poker community that are also involved with Poker League of Nations? Well, our roster is pretty impressive. We have the last three WSOP ladies champions. We have Heidi May from 2017. We have Courtney Kennedy who was 2016. Jacqueline Scott who was 2015. We So those are the last three champions and we have other you know luminaries like uh, Marsha Wolak was a ladies champion but we have Kristen Bicknell who's been the GPI women's champion and is just an all-around awesome person. Speaking of women in poker there are some big heavyweights right now. Who do you think are some like two three best female poker players in the world right now? Well, 
without question, obviously, Kristen Bicknell. I mean, she's one of our favorites, and not only because she's a, a beast at the poker table, but because she's an awesome ambassador for women. She's so gracious. Ebony Kenny sort of splashed back onto the scene, so I think Ebony has a great, great chance. She just won an event that we had in San Antonio, Texas, so... She's fierce and she's back on board. <laughs> yeah, she is fearless, certainly. Now, critics may say, you know, if women want to be equal to men and in poker and want equality all over, why are we, you, you know, sort of isolating women doing women's only events? What would you respond to those criticisms? I think that it's important for those critics to understand that if you want to grow the fields, and if you want to grow prize pools, we have to encourage women. And so if you're criticizing that, then you don't want a bigger prize pool and you don't want more players to compete again. So I think that's a narrow way of thinking. Thank you so much and I wish you big success. And of course, I'm going to go to that free cocktails and $100 gift card welcome party. Well, join us on Facebook. I mean, you are already in. Not, but, but you join us on exactly. Facebook. The, uh, the private group is called Poker League of Nations and we want all women to join and, uh, you know, get the free content and opportunities for prizes and events that are for only women. Yeah, and don't be scared. Poker is really, really fun. You can, you know, $300 buy-in can get you, what, $8 million exactly. first place in the WSOP, so you just never know. That's an amazing rate of return on your investment. It, it, it is, it is. It's, you know, it's a long way to go, but it can happen, and it's happened before. Chris Moneymaker, for even less than that. So exactly. we need a female Chris Moneymaker. Any She's given Sunday. Any, Any given Sunday. Given Sunday. <laughs> Stay tuned to PokerNews.com for all your updates for women, men, and everything in between.